Good morning, everyone. My name is Bree Houston, and I'm going to be your presenter this morning. It is now 8.05, so we're going to go ahead and get started here with our Formotus demo, Form Solutions for Offline. If you haven't already and you would like to participate as we're kind of going along, if you have a mobile device of any sort, either a iOS device, an Android, or a Windows 8 device, or a tablet, uh, you can go ahead and download the Formotus app. We're going to give you a login um, so that you can kind of go in and uh, follow along, um, give us some, some feedback and information that we can kind of show um, the live feedback in today's webinar. So once again, thanks for joining us. Um, and we're going to go and I'm just going to switch my screens here. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so many people have been following along with our series, uh, kind of the after info path, and this is all kind of related to that, as well as kind of a transitional piece. So today's topic is going to be Formotus, um, and what we're going to talk about today is kind of an overview of the Formotus technology. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the survey form, and this walkthrough is going to be a little bit different. I have an Android device today that I'm going to kind of um, show my webcam and a live demo of a form being filled out. And then I'm going to give a little bit of time for some audience participation. So this is where you're going to be able to download the Formotus app to your device and log in to participate. So the login that you're going to use is webinars at qdabra.com. And the password is going to be webinar0807. And this will be available during the webinar today. So it'll ask you um, for that login when you download um, the app. And so I'll give you guys just a minute to log in there. And then as you're filling out your form today, you're going to get a credential prompt for au.formsboard.com slash Qdabra web service. And those credentials, credentials are going to be Qdabra backslash G1 password Qdabra asterisk one with a capital Q. So these are important uh, credential prompts prompts so that you can um, submit the information when you have filled out um, the form that we've prepared today. And then we're going to take a look at the reporting in action. So um, I'll walk through a couple um, of different steps with that. Okay, so the whole basis that has started this thing off is the need to create these very robust forms. And currently, um, InfoPath is the best technology around for this. It's very rich with different controls, data capturing abilities, uh, the ability to make your form look very beautiful, almost like a web page. There's a lot of features that um, probably you or your company um, has found to be kind of those key features in InfoPath and why we know and love it. So why InfoPath? It's still the most powerful way to gather data, and to get it where you want it. And there's lots of rich controls and logic to help you capture this information, kind of automate some of your process for um, any of your people filling out the form, a really good user experience. There's also data validation, which means that we're kind of checking the data before it's being submitted to our databases, um, keeping our information nice and clean and easy to report on. And then there's also the um, piece of connectivity to SharePoint and web services. So what is kind of the missing piece in, in this whole part to InfoPath? Well, the missing piece would be the mobility. And we've seen this kind of as a transition into uh, the new age, if you will. And the need to take your forms anywhere, um, whether it's offline or onto a smaller device, uh, so that someone can use your form on the go. They don't have to be logged in in the office to complete um, necessary forms or submit something like a leave request. They can kind of do it on their own time. So it's a very powerful tool uh, to enable your forms to be available mobily. So because InfoPath, and you may have heard this from Promotus, this is kind of their um, signature tagline, if you will, in uh, the transition from InfoPath to InfoPath and beyond. And 
how we enter this data is changing. Again, we want the mobility and the added, added advantages of mobility. Um, and with that comes offline support. So the ability to fill out your form, even if you're not connected to a Wi-Fi or have any kind of service at all, uh, you can fill out your form, it'll sit in your outbox, and then as soon as you have connectivity, uh, it sends to your desired location. It's also designed for a multitude of devices, and this is another quite powerful tool. You may have seen our webinar back in March, and that was at the kind of first end of the release of the Windows um, 8 support for Formotus. So um, the app currently supports Android devices, iOS devices, and Windows 8.1. So a very wide range of different devices. And then also the deprecation of InfoPath, which we'll get to a little bit later on. But um, Microsoft has announced that they you know, are going to continue support for the next 10 years, starting in 2013. So we're at you know, nine and a half years now or so. Um, but it's important to know that it's coming and we need to be prepared and have kind of a go-to plan as we're transitioning um, to the new age of technology and to uh, new ways to enter data. So what's the advantage? Here we see um, not only can we take our, our device mobily, our forms mobily, um, fill them out anywhere, have compatibility with multitudes of devices, but there's a few other um, kind of benefits as well. So why Formotus is a good option. It utilizes your existing InfoPath forms with small changes for mobile. So what does this mean? You can take your existing forms and pretty much transition them right into the Formotus app in uh, storage and somewhere um, like your SharePoint site or somewhere else very, very easily. And again, quickly take your forms from SharePoint um, to the mobile device. And um, the, the best piece of this is that you're data is actually not stored on the device itself for the app itself, it's still stored back in SharePoint or something like a web service. So you have that flexibility to control where your data lives after your user fills out your form in the app. So um, the app is really that kind of catalyst and device to help you get your data from the form to where you want to get it and report on your data. Okay, so what Formotus accomplishes? Um, forms that work offline, forms that work on mobile devices, iOS, Android, Surface, Kindle. So there's a, pretty much any mobile device that you can think of is going to have some kind of support with Formotus and the forms. And this really increases the accessibility because you've now granted almost every person who has some kind of mobile device access to your forms with the correct credentials and logs in, logins and creating that functionality. And it utilizes also the built-in controls from a device, and this is going to enhance your data, ca data capturing capabilities. And so um, things like your location control or your GPS camera capture are all things that aren't available in your traditional sense of InfoPath, but with this app, um, those things are all utilized um, and can be put into your form. So a good example to kind of compare contrast um, traditional versus new age data gathering processes and maybe how we enter data into the form um, would be a, a car crash or an incident report. So, you know, obviously in this situation we want to gather all the facts, we want to take lots of pictures, we want to gather as much as we can about um, the event that's occurred. So the example is a car crash inspection. So the traditional process would be to probably take your camera or maybe your smartphone and you take pictures on the scene and then you have to upload them to your computer later, then attach them inline to your form and also take notes. So you could take notes on your phone or even, you know, kind of really old school, write them down on, you know, pen and paper, which it seems so, so far away. But um, and then you have to either input or upload them later into that same form. So it's kind of a, a longer extended process, probably takes a little bit more time. Um, but the benefits of this is that some features of the data gathering may work better um, in those types of situations. Um, and an example of this would be maybe a really complex repeating structure element with several repeating groups inside one another. That's something that um, still is a little bit fuzzy when we start to go offline. 
And some of the drawbacks, um, like I said, extra process and steps to get your data into the correct format to utilize your form or to put it in SharePoint or get your data to the, to the database. So the other part of this example is the mobile process. So opening um, the form and inputting your data right away using the um, your camera right on your device to capture images of the scene. And this really eliminates some of the extra process that's involved in data gathering and it keeps your data all contained in one place and then sends it to where it needs to live. So some of the drawbacks to this are limited functionality and connectivity um, to actually send the data, which isn't too big of a deal, but if you um, have some kind of live queries with information that's always updating, your users are going to need that connectivity. Otherwise, they can um, connect kind of um, mobile or wirelessly when they when they have connectivity again. Okay, and we're going to jump into our demo now. So I'm going to do a walkthrough of the sample form. And what I really want to do is have some audience participation. So again, if you've downloaded the Formotus app, go ahead and use this login. We've prepared a form that's going to be available to the user when you log in. And that login, again, is webinars at qdabra.com with the password webinars0807. And you're going to fill out the form, um, enter at least one section from the interest section about controls, and I'll go over that in a minute, and then just hit submit. Um, so then we're going to view data reported from the web service as an admin. And before I get too much further, I actually want to um, paste those credentials into the chat window so that everyone has, um, has the correct information. And let's see. Go ahead and go back to our first slide because I have all the credentials there. So I'm just going to copy this piece here. And you'll see that right in the chat window. In just one moment, there it is. And it looks like web service the credentials again, please. All right, Michael, we're getting you those right away. And uh, I'm going to just switch over screens here and just be patient for just a moment. It can, uh, I'm getting my mobile device going here. And you'll see everything in just one moment. I'm going to switch over here. I'm going from this end and hopefully Uh -oh. One. Center of your screen that you have the ability to kind of see um, and expand the the different windows. So if you take that center line and drag it down. Um, I'm just going to kind of show here. Um, and this is the kind of entering screen, if you will. Um, and I'm going to go back. And you'll probably see something along these lines when you first log in. And the demo that we're going to use is called Formotus Demo. So I'm just going to click on that top one there. And you can see that a new instance of the form is going to be opened here. So I'm going to just switch to my tablet view, like so. OK. And this is where I'm going to enter some of my data. So right there, bear with me as we're doing this live demo. You can see that uh, <laughs> there's quite a few pieces here. 
and I'm going to type in a test user. Actually, and before I do, I want to show you kind of the administrative part of this um, because it's going to make a lot more sense when people start submitting their own data. So I have this admin view and what it does is it's going to pull back all of the currently filled out um, forms. And you can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks like someone's already filled out. That's great. And if we take a look at Debbie Tester here, it's going to pull back all the information that she's filled out in our form. So I'm going to fill out, and we'll call this one Gary Filler, because he's filling out our form. If I can find my L, there we go. And we can see, I'm just going to use my own email address here. There we go. Um, thanks for bearing with me as I'm typing kind of upside down. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. There we go. Just taking a few minutes. There we go. And we can see that the date's filled in. It's okay to contact me. And we'll say yes. More info. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to my controls. And you can see here I have my camera, ink, camera and ink, GPS and device. So I'm going to say yes, I'm interested in the camera control. And you can see that it pops up right here. And sorry for all of you, I might have gotten a little low on that one. I apologize. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my Slurpee picture there. And you can see it's right there inserted. I'll say cool. Just like that. Go back and I want to look at the camera and ink control now. Say I'm interested. And you can see only when I'm interested, these sections pop up. And they use uh, the, the things available on my device. Maybe I'll pick this one here. And then I want to make some annotations so I can go ahead and draw on my picture there. And I'm on a Kindle device here. So you can see that I then just go back to my form. And that looks pretty good. We'll say go. And we're going to submit. OK. Now I think I have to go to my outbox there. And you can see that I have one not processed. And I'll go ahead and send. Just taking a minute this morning. And it should submit. There we go, out of my outbox. So um, I'll give everyone kind of a few minutes to go ahead and fill that out. Um, while you are kind of taking some time to fill out the, um, the survey, I'm going to kind of show you the behind the scenes of, um, of the form and how it submits and uses web services um, in order to um, in order to uh, to use that information. There we go. <laughs> Having a hard time with my words this morning. Uh, so we're going to write like so, and I hope. I hope everyone was able to hear me through that demo. Let's see. Go ahead and, OK, yes, it looks like my audio is still on. 
and we'll go ahead to switch over now to my other screen and we're going to take a look at the behind the scenes of this form. So I'll go ahead, open up InfoPath. Again, give everybody time to fill out that form. It doesn't have to be real fancy, but we're going to take a look at the, the queries on it. Okay, and if we take a look at the data connections here, we can see that we're using our web service. So no SharePoint, no nothing. Um, we're using our web service to get our entries, get our users, and submit our form. We are using um, an admin section from SharePoint, so that shows kind of the integration of both of those services, but we can use it completely independently as well. Now, if I go um, to my web service itself and we take a look at these forms, oops, here, I'm just going to drag this over, and we can see I haven't refreshed um, since that last submit. I have my original seven here. If I go ahead and hit refresh now, I probably will see a few more entries, or hopefully we'll see a few more entries. And sometimes this can take a minute. Oh, look at that. We have a very active audience this morning. Bravo, bravo. I appreciate that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kind of live in action um, with our other form. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up that live demo again, show my screen on my handy little device there. And uh, we'll take a look at how our form is now querying all of that information. So we'll go ahead and show that screen again. So we can see here we're going to oops, get a new one going, hopefully. Oh, we've got to go back. There we go. Go to our Promotus demo again. You can see our form opening nice and neat there. Go to that admin section. Okay, look at that. So now when we hit this drop down, we should see we have lots and lots of new entries. So any of those there, if we go ahead and we hit Hillary here, we can see all of her entered information. She didn't care too much about the controls, so maybe we'll try somebody else. Uh, let's try Mark, her Mark 2. And look at that. All right, got some interest there. And looking awesome. Okay, so you can see kind of that live process there. Oops. And I'm just going to switch back to my other screen. And we're going to take a look at kind of the reporting behind the scenes. So thanks, everyone, for participating um, there. And we'll go ahead and take a look at um, where we're getting all of this data, or storing all this data. So this is the web service that's used as a piece with our SQL database. So that's where I'm headed now. Try and speed up this process just a little bit. And what we should see is if we look at this table here, we have all of those new pieces of information right in our database at our fingertips. So then if we want to go through and do our reporting, it's all connected right here, right now. All right, thank you audience for being active participants this morning. So uh, this kind of brings us to the extras. So we'll go ahead back to our slideshow. 
So the extras, connecting directly to that web service without using SharePoint. This is huge. It means that you can send your data to a SQL database, and it makes it even easier to report on your data. You can um, send those repeating elements to different um, database tables. And your form lives within the web service. So this is completely independent of InfoPath form services, independent of SharePoint. And InfoPath really isn't even necessary either. You just have to have those base forms um, to start with. So this kind of brings us into what we've been talking about since January. So kind of the transition um, from InfoPath to InfoPath and beyond. And there's kind of an important um, announcement that came out a few days ago that's just nice for everybody to know about. And so this one we're going to start with um, if you already have Office 365. So for existing Office 365 users or people who have recently migrated, there are options. Um, Microsoft is going to continue the support for the existing users. We also have formsquo.com. Uh, with our FormsViewer app, uh, which is kind of that transitional piece that's going to help you keep your forms living on SharePoint even after Microsoft kind of slowly um, discontinues their support um, on 365 and the cloud. And this happens all without InfoPath form services. So if you're new to 365, there's a slight little piece that we found um, kind of a few days ago, and this is just something to be aware of, um, that if you're new to 365, Microsoft may no longer be, support, be supporting InfoPath. So what does this mean? Um, it just means that if you're starting out and you don't have that account or you haven't opened up a uh, 365 migration, it might be better to stick with your 2013 or 2010 site for the foreseeable future. So just a little update. But another little plug, so um, Forms Viewer is going to be a way for you to support your forms into the foreseeable future without InfoPath form services. Also using things like Formotus and what I demoed today are going to be pieces that help you um, continue your data gathering processes without much change to what you've already been doing. I want to thank everyone, and you can see here I have included the link to download the Forms Quo app, um, as well as uh, earlier in our webmail, you saw the link to try out um, for, or Forms Quo and our demo form. So feel free to kind of take advantage of that, try out those rich controls um, that you saw in the demo form. So I'm going to open up the floor for questions now. Um, and I'm just going to open up that dialog. If you have any questions, just go ahead and type them into chat. I'll give everyone a few minutes if you have a question, or you can also go ahead and raise your hand, and I can and call on you on the in the audience um, and get your questions answered. All right, it looks like not any questions from the audience this morning. So thank you again for joining me in the webinar. And I hope that you had some fun kind of experimenting uh, with Formotus and giving you a little taste of kind of the functionality uh, that is available with the app. And we look forward to hopefully seeing you again in the webinar and working with you in the future. Have a fantastic Thursday.